basically created a space where Black women can come together and talk about everything that makes them feel uncomfortable. While the topic of discussion may be hair, you'll be surprised where you can veer off into other subjects when talking about hair. Today, I've brought together relaxed and natural women to talk about the divide in the black hair community, stereotypes, and bridge the gap. I'm your host, Brianna, and you're watching Sister's Diary. Okay, guys, so that was like a great recap of, you know, stereotypes and all of that. But, you know, while we're talking about this, could you guys get into some of the personal, like, hair experiences that you had, whether it be good, whether it be bad? Um, and I guess we can start with you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know yours. Yes. So my journey has been a long road and it's still going, of course. So, of course, I was getting relaxed hair like I was perming my hair but I wasn't perming it to make sure that it was healthy I was perming it to make sure my edges was laid for my sewing <laughs> so I wasn't even caring at one point I stopped even relaxing my entire head and just doing my edges so that ate that up so for a long period of time I was like this isn't working but I didn't care because I just was going for what looked good and not for you know the long results so eventually I decided to switch to natural hair but of course I still wasn't doing anything Thing with it like I wasn't using perms but I wasn't moisturizing my hair I wasn't I didn't even cut my hair off I didn't do the big chop yet I literally was just like <laughs> living like not doing anything right on the right. Right. Like, <laughs> <going. laughs> Okay, making sure that looks right and that's it like I wasn't going to a hairdresser I didn't know how to take care of it and I would literally wash or take care of my hair like once a month or longer than once a month so it was really really bad <laughs> and my mom was begging me to take care of my hair like literally begging me she was like cut your hair off I remember it was like years ago like five years ago just cut it off start over and I was like no so I've been living with damaged hair for probably seven years now oh, when I wow. think of it um it wasn't until like a year ago mm -hmm. that I was like okay I'm done with this lifestyle <laughs> because I cannot be an adult and still have damaged hair right. like I'm gonna be looking crazy mm -hmm. so um finally I cut all my hair off like just did the big chop and then I was taking care of it myself still so not going to a hairdresser because I couldn't find the right one but eventually I found someone who was taking care of my hair so like she's been doing it every two weeks every three weeks which I feel like I should start going to her even more now because I realized with natural hair you have to do something like every week <laughs> every you have to be <laughs> taking care of it so um, I've been going to her but it's grown my hair because my hair was even shorter than this so um, it's been working out for me so I feel like I'm at the beginning stages of the natural hair journey but I've been on a long road to yeah. welcome girl point. Okay. Yes. So, so tell, tell the people about mm -hmm. this hairstyle today. Yeah, so this hairstyle today, <laughs> this is my first time ever, ever wearing my hair oh, out. Yes. 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 Thank you. Like, when it was relaxed, I wasn't wearing it out. And natural, I haven't worn it out since I became natural. So this is a big moment for me. Like, this is a big step. Like, no one's seen my hair in like, I know. eight years. <laughs> I yes. love it. And I but it was like you know and I, I like it I actually feel like now I'm more open to wearing my hair like yes. tomorrow I might wear my hair out like you know, I feel like right now so. oh well, that's good that's you didn't good. have yeah. like anxiety yeah I didn't have anxiety I was really nervous though I can't I can't lie I okay. was a little nervous mm -hmm. but you know once I did my little twist out and tried to do something with it you yeah. know I was like I'm gonna work with it <laughs> so Oh, that's I'm my, ready, my story. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and, it fits and it's so thick. Yeah. Like I wish Thank I had you. your thickness. I wish I had your length. <laughs> <laughs> right. You get now. You get now. Yes. 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 Anybody else want to tell a personal uh, story? Well, mine is kind of bad, sad. But um, I pretty much had like long hair for a long time in my yes. life. And let, me, let me just say this. Period, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, yeah>, baby. Yeah. <laughs> 
I was around there walking around with a little ponytail. <laughs> People used to tell me, you know, okay, yeah, yeah, hello. But I was like, no, damn it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was like hair goes in yeah, high school. Absolutely. So, yes, a little backstory. Yeah. Okay. So, I was doing really good. And um, around August, September last year, um, I had so much going on in one month, it wasn't even funny. I was dealing with bad breakup. I was going through bad depression with that. My dad was like severely sick and I was like, I'm a daddy's girl mm -hmm. and like that hit me bad. Right. And then I was off of birth control for at that time it made it like eleven months that I got off the pill. But I was on it for about ten years. Wow. So mm -hmm. and then um from getting off I didn't have a cycle at all mm -hmm. for that whole eleven months until that time came around mm -hmm. oh, and wow. it finally came on. Wow. And then when it did that, I they said I um had post pill PCOS mm. from getting off the pill. So heard of really um, polycystic <laughs> ovarian syndrome. I know what it is, but I didn't know that yeah. that was a thing though. Like I didn't know so, they had a post pill type yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of pill. When you get off the pill, a lot of them when they got the pill compared to other methods of birth control is very popular. Oh okay. wow. so um with that I had the androgen level shot up. So you know what it is? Testosterone. Oh, so I got really hairy. You get oh. hair. You get body hair, and then you lose hair on your head. Oh yeah. wow! So Maybe with all that hair, together, yeah. I didn't know what was going on, but they were just saying I had like very high stress levels because mm -hmm. I was like every day. I was scared to comb my hair for a while. I was in a ponytail some days, and I was doing this, and it was just wide, and you just see the white bulbs in the hair. So it wasn't breakage. It was, it just, was it from was coming the roots, root. coming straight from the roots, and it was just coming. It was just coming out so bad. So I was like, okay. What's going on? And then, like, I haven't started wearing my hair straight, like, down like this until the last, I met you all, um, what, what was it, a month ago now? Yeah. 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 Before then, I've been wearing a little braid halo, <laughs> braid out to a minimum, because yeah. sometimes I look a little thin on the end, like, no, <laughs> no, it's not gonna work. Right. Or I just put in a ponytail or bun or something, but, like, they put me on um, steroids, not in my body, but just, like, it's a liquid form to go on my scalp mm -hmm. to help with the hair. It has helped a lot. Um, I was on it for about six months, um, because I was just, they gave me a hormone drug to um, take, but I was like, why am I gonna take this hormone drug when the side effects are even worse than yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dealing with the rest of the stuff? So I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna just change my diet, whatever I have to do to just balance my hormones myself. And I was going good with acting part, you know, cause I was scared of that too. Cause it was, I was getting that, but I got that under control. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as my hair, I tried to rice the water thing for a little while. Mm, it's alright. I haven't noticed much of a difference or anything. Um, but um, I just try to keep deep conditioning every week and keep it soft and stuff like that. And that's why I stretch my relaxer since um, the day before New Year's and I got one May 8th. Okay. And um, I've, I've been doing like I've been doing like twice or three times a year mm -hmm. now for like the past six, seven years. Right. And um, it was just like I'm still like now I don't wear my hair straight down anymore because you can actually see that I didn't trim yeah. and now I'm scared of suits. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. It's been cool. Right, yeah. Yeah. You do say that in the hair wow. profession thing, girl. <laughs> so I've been doing like an inch and a half every month yeah. here yeah. and there. Where I know. Yeah, where I'm comfortable. So I just I'm not walking around with Bob. I'm not right. doing that. Right. So I'm just doing it as I go and mm -hmm. trying to get it back to its like fullness. Mm -hmm. So like when your hair was coming out, mm -hmm. did you consider going natural? Because a lot of people ask me, like, if you have a setback, will you ever, will you go natural if you have a setback? Because mm -mm. I feel <laughs> like I didn't have a style I could wear to transition. Right. Because I was like, I'm not doing a big job. That's a big no. No, no. <laughs> right. And then I just get, I get very insecure with mm -hmm. weed. Mm -hmm. I just, I just be like, oh, yeah, because you never can you see my tracks. <laughs> right. Can he feel my wig? Cause I have some petty boyfriend, I have <laughs> <laughs> brothers. Like, yes. I'm scared of what you it around them. Right. Like, I don't know. So it's like, uh, I don't know what to do. And then I'm, I don't like braids. Cause I'll get like bumps or yeah, yeah, whatever, everything, scabs, whatever. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't so want to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did say you was tender headed. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. Mm -hmm. okay. Me too. Well, we're glad that you're on the road. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's so good. Yes. Anastasia. Okay. 
Um, I guess my hair story would be that um, I went to college, I went to FAM in 2013, and I wanted, so I would straighten my hair like constantly. Um, I hadn't gotten perms, but I did get a keratin treatment system. It's a perm. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> They're going to tell you that it's not, that your hair is going to revert back, mm -hmm. but usually like after the second or third one, if you watch girls on YouTube, like your hair doesn't go back. Mm -hmm. right. The first one, my hair went back perfect. Like after four months, my hair just curled back up. Mm -hmm. But after I got that second one, I don't know, it never, and I used to straighten my hair quite often, so that probably contributed to it yeah. as well. So when I got to college, everybody was natural because I went to HBCU. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wanted to have that experience. But I never did it, I was always too scared because my hair was long, my hair was like past bra shot length when I got to college, it was just straight. So um, I paid for college myself, like I put myself through college. And my going into my junior year, I ran out of money. Like I didn't know how I was gonna pay for college, like what I was gonna do. And so I joined the military. Um, I joined the reserves. And I was really sad about it because I always wanted to be in the military, but like I didn't want to feel forced. Like I didn't want to feel like I'm being forced to make this decision prematurely. Like I thought I had more years to think about it. And um, so I stopped doing my hair. I went home in the middle of the semester of my spring semester, my sophomore year. Most of my teachers let me like send in my work mm -hmm. and nobody thought I was coming back to college. And I was just like, I just did not get out of bed. Like I was just so sad. And with me not getting out of bed, I wasn't combing my hair. I wasn't doing anything. And the right side of my head matted like to my head. <laughs> and my mom, just like your mama was begging me like, girl, you have to do something to your hair. Like it looks crazy. Like you have to do something. Like I can't even comb <laughs> through it. And um, so she was like, I booked you a hair appointment, um, go. I told her, like, I told her I'll pay extra for a detangling of however long it's going to take. Just go to your appointment. I went to that appointment. Sis was like, so what do you want to do with your hair? Your mom just said we're going to detangle it, and then I'm going to straighten it for you. And I was like, just cut it off. Just and like she was that. like, yeah. I was like, just cut it off. And she was like, oh, okay, cut it shorter. And she got her little scissors and she started cutting pieces. I said, no, with those. I pointed at her clippers. The clippers. And she was like, okay. <laughs> and so, like, she, she was like, and then we just buzz cut my head. Yeah, I, buzz, I did a buzz cut. And like, I, never, I never looked back and it grew. Um, and then I, I protective styled for like two years. I never wore my hair out. I always had a sew in. Mm -hmm. And then one day I took it out and I felt like it was long enough and I've been wearing my hair out ever since. Okay. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm saying I wouldn't grab it out one time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Tiffany. Okay. So um, my last relaxer was, I would say, December of 2015. Um, before then, I had been watching YouTube videos on girls going natural, and then, back in 2015, there wasn't that many videos, mm -hmm. you know, like, there wasn't that many people doing it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was very intrigued, and, like, I would watch all these videos, and I didn't know that I had curly hair, you know. My family, they're very, like, old-school Dominican, so they just always told me that I had to get my hair straightened because it was just, like, nappy that and you know all that crazy stuff so um i had been watching those videos and it, it just sparked my curiosity so i would like try and make my mom hold off on getting my relax my relaxer so i could see like my curl pattern and stuff um so we fought back and forth a lot you know she ended up forcing me to get my hair relaxed again so that was my last relaxer and then i transitioned for like six seven months and i big chopped my hair myself in my bathroom um July of 2016 after I graduated high school um, so I was never nervous to wear my hair out because I had been building up to it and I'm just very carefree in general so I was like walking around and I never really styled it that much either when I first went natural so it was just like a big puff ball mm -hmm. um, but I guess a lot of the negative experience that I've had is Mostly from my family, I would say, mm -hmm. just saying that I look dirty and like, ew. Oh. <laughs> yes, dirty. Girl. 
That's yes. like a bit. Much. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm the only one in my family with like you know curly. And hair. it's your culture, probably. Yeah, it is. I mean, Dominicans they're very racist, you know, oh, <laughs> like you know old school Dominicans. Uh, my whole family they're very fair skinned and they keep their hair straight. Mm-hmm. So. um but like from people on the street, I mean, I work in West Chase, so it's mostly like Caucasian people. So, mm-hmm. you know, my clients, they're always like, oh, is that all of your hair? Or is that a wig? Is that a ponytail? You know, like all kinds of stuff. And I think they may say that because they want their hair like that. So they like, yeah. well, I got to yeah. get my hair like that. And a lot of people ask to touch it, but. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do that too. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a little like weird, mm-hmm. but I'm nice. So I'm like, yeah, you know, whatever. I don't really care. Mm-hmm my clients like if it's people on the street i'm like okay dude like <laughs> stop being weird but other than that i mean i really love being natural and i could say this though i'd probably still be relaxed if my hair wasn't damaged um when i was getting relaxers because you know i had a lot of breakage and like the hair at my nape wasn't growing my edges weren't growing so it was just a mess but yeah i wouldn't go back <laughs> okay. okay um so i'm pretty new to relaxers considering like people have been getting it since like high school so I started getting relaxers freshman year of college I want to say this was probably 2011 and my roommate started doing it and I'm big on experimentation so when I finally went back to Jamaica I actually cut it into a bob so it was like really short and I maintained that bob for like two years and then I was like okay I want something new so I got highlights and I maintained that for a year and a half. And then I was like, okay, something else new. And I went to the hairdresser and I was like, I showed him a picture of kind of like a balayage type mm-hmm. vibe. And he looked at it and he was like, oh, um, can I do my own type of vibe? And I'm like, okay, sure, no problem. I walked out there with brown hair, which a bleach out section in the front, which looks nice in the beginning. But that's not what you asked for. But that's, it's not what I asked for, but it looked nice. It mm-hmm. really, I wasn't complaining. Okay. And then my hair started to grow. And I had like three different colors in my hair. Right. The roots. And I was like, this does not look good anymore. So I actually started um, putting a rinse over it. And I did that kind of just because it's like, I don't like the way this looks anymore. And my hair actually, because it was colored and it was bleached, it actually started breaking off a little bit. And I was like, panicking mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I started rinsing it I'm like okay it will grow back it's not that big a deal it's just hair it's all right mm-hmm. and since then I haven't colored my hair I stretch my relaxers pretty far and I just kind of take care of it as best as I possibly can my big downfall recently is doing braids I realize my hair does not like braids at mm-hmm. all so I'm trying to kind of stay away from them but overall I feel like I get a very good vibe from my mom who's also relaxed and she's been relaxed since I was born mm-hmm. um, since she was younger and she's big on it's your choice to do what you want with your hair um, and that's why it pretty much took me this long to decide okay I'm gonna relax my hair and this is what I'm gonna do and keep it this way for as long as I possibly can mm-hmm. so like how did you used to wear your natural hair so um I used to get like twists, like kind of like rope twists, or it was always in buns or little plaits. So I was in high school, it was not that big a deal. But like nowadays, like if I could go back, I would say I wish I could do like a wash and go, yeah. and, you know, all the these pretty stuff. curly yeah. styles. But it's just like I had really thick hair and it was so hard to manage that I don't even know if I would be able to do any of that right. at that age. I don't really feel like I have like a bad experience. Well, <laughs> it can be good or bad. I mean, I did something that I regretted to my hair, <laughs> like kind of recently. It was like my senior year in college, and I was going through a depression, and I'm like, I want something different. Like something need to change. Like you know, like you want something different, but you don't know what. Mm-hmm. I was just like, I was on the phone with my best friend. I'm like, I'm about to cut my hair. Mm-hmm. And she was like, You're lying. I'm like, no, I really am. I'm about to cut my hair. So I'm like in my room, cutting my hair, and it was like short. When I I straight, when I blow dry my hair, 
mm-hmm. not thinking, Janae, when you wet this, it's, it's going to shrivel up. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, this it's not going to be too short because I'm always used to having like my hair long. So I'm like, I don't want it too short because I didn't know how it would feel with my hair short. Once I wet it, I'm like, what mm-hmm. did I do? Like it was, I think it was like up to here. Sh- Shrunk. I can imagine. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, that'd be cute. I, I don't know what I got. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I literally, but I did not. I was like, like kind of insecure about it because I wasn't used to like how I look with my hair that short. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like went off the radar. I'm like, uh, uh-uh, I'm not making no videos for a little bit. Like I don't take nothing because I don't, I wanted my hair to grow out some more because I didn't want it that short. But that was the biggest regret in my life. I don't think I would ever cut my hair again <laughs> because it was just like, I don't know. Like, I tried to other people, like, you know, embrace your natural hair. But I guess it was kind of like one of those things, like, now you could feel how other people feel, like, yeah. with mm-hmm. short hair and why they want their hair. Like, I didn't know what to do with my hair that short because mm-hmm. I was so used to long hair. Yeah, so I had to experiment. Can I ask get... a question? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do, do y'all think that it's like, that there's like a negative attachment to how much we put on length? Oh, I definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I feel like we put so much, I feel like everyone that has gone so far has said something about like length. 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 Yes. yes. I agree. Especially if it's not like a style, like if it's not mm-hmm. a bob or like, yeah. a, you know, it's Fix like, oh, I don't want short hair, you know, like. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's but I definitely so attached to like it's humidity. It's definitely becoming more common now. Like you know, people have the pixie cuts and they mm-hmm. style it mm-hmm. nicely. You know, yeah. so like it's, it's not, not good. Short hair isn't good unless it's a style. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I want to cut my hair. That's a good point. Cut it. Yeah. I'm gonna cut my hair I eventually. Like uh, I want to bob. But how mm-hmm. short do you want to cut your hair? <laughs> 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 Look at the Look at bob. Watching I mean, because I've been saying the same thing for a long time, but kidding. it's like when I get to a certain point, I'm going to cut it. Maybe like when I get 30. Just I'm like really unhappy happy with my texture. Just right Taylor, now. give me a bob unit. Let me the big guy. Let me the big guy. I want to be crying. I would have to show you like my old texture compared to what my texture is now. It's so different. Um, I tried to do research on it, and they said that. The longer your hair gets, the more weight down it gets. Mm-hmm. So the looser your curls will appear, but yeah. they're not actually damaged. Mm-hmm. I keep going to the hairstylist. I keep telling sis my hair is damaged. She keeps telling me it's not. <laughs> so, I mean, she's a professional, so I guess she's right. <laughs> but, but, like, I want my hair to look how it looked when Before it was, like, shorter. shorter. So if I have to cut, cut it to get that bounce back, then I got to cut it because okay. I, mm-hmm. I'm more... I'm more into the way that my curls spiraled yes, than yeah. like how long it is. Mm-hmm. I could definitely. But I'm trying to be grateful. My hair, I did love. Don't they be they curls. Curls. It's like, ah, like they just, <laughs> they just, you know. It's a That's vibe. what I wanted to ask you too because I know in high school your hair was more wavy. Like I don't even oh, think your hair curly, was like yeah. curly mm-hmm. at all. That could be another bad experience because I used to straighten my hair so much yeah. because I didn't know how to take care of natural hair. I was the only person in my hair with curly family and with curly hair so it was like nobody could tell me like what to do mm-hmm. you know with my hair so it's like okay just straighten right. it like yeah. mm-hmm. it's my mom That's know how to you true. know straighten my hair so it's like okay but as time went on my curls just like it wasn't no curls I had stringy parts mm-hmm. it, was, it was a mess so did you have to like cut the straight parts off mm-hmm. like I didn't do like a big chop um I kind of like gradually cut it like my mom would cut it Every time um, I'll ask her, like, can you, you know, cut it? Because I didn't. I just did not want my hair short. Um, and eventually, like, she cut all of the straight pieces and it reverted. So I guess I'll start from the beginning. So I'm one of those people who mother relaxed their hair very early in life. So I think I was probably about, like, six or something Jesus. like that. Yeah. I was young, too. I was very young when I got my hair Yeah. What did you even have to do your own hair? <laughs> it's still sticky. No. My mama said my hair was, <laughs> it was so yes, naughty. Yes. So, I mean, mine, I had two different textures. Like, in the back, it was real, like, you know, and in the front, it was kind of wavy. Mm-hmm. So, it's just like, and that is the thing that you can't have two different textures mm-hmm. of hair. So, um, my mom kind of was trying to do, like, a balance out. And it was not necessarily a relaxer, more like a texturizer, but, I mean, kind of the same. Um, so, I've basically been relaxed 
pretty much my entire life. Um, I can't say that I ever really had a struggle with like my hair. Um, I do feel like, you know, when I was in middle school, going into high school, that it kind of seemed like it was at a standstill. Like, you know, once you get to that yeah. shoulder length mm -hmm. point, it just yeah. seemed like, it's okay, not it's not anymore. really doing it. I might get a little longer, but it's not really doing nothing. But, you know, okay, we used to be wearing our little updos. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, <laughs> like doing yeah. some real hard, crunchy style. Yes, 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 so it is yes, nice. exactly. So <laughs> it was just like, oh, okay, whatever. Right. Uh, then you know, once we got into like our junior senior, you know, we want to wear our wraps and stuff like that. <laughs> and then, you know, okay. Then <laughs> yes, then you know, buns, whatever. <laughs> yes. We used to be wearing it like age appropriate, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, then. I think you did my first song in senior year. Yes. yes. And, you know, I'm like, okay. I know I have my little Beyonce. You know, <laughs> yes. But then I kept, like, doing this little press thing. And then I noticed when I took it out, it's like, oh, dang, like, heat damage. Like, it was so short up here. And then the rest was like, okay, cool. So then I was like, all right. Um, then I started making you part wigs. I'm like, okay, cool. This this good or whatever. But it was still the problem with the heat damage. So I'm like, dang, dog. So then I start experimenting more, and that's when I really start getting into the whole wig thing. So then I'm starting to do, like, Chinese things. Okay, I need to, I need to bring it all up. And then I'm like, all right, illusion part wigs, okay. And then we kind of elevate it gradually. You, you skip some. What I skip? Oh, that I colored my hair. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I forgot I did color my hair senior year. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, oh, girl, your hair going to fall out. Like, you going to be bald head. Like, that's what happened to me. And I was like, uh-uh, that ain't going to happen to me. Like, what color was it? It was blonde. Oh. It was blonde. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I bleached it. And um, I don't, I don't I know if I did it at the out. top or what, but yeah. yes. So everybody was like, oh, your head going to fall out, girl. And I was just like, nah, nah, nah. So I had a regimen. Every Sunday evening, I would do a wash in a deep condition while I sit in the dryer. Like, I was determined that my head is not going to fall out. And it didn't. And it didn't. Like, it really didn't. And it literally, like, the color grew out, you know, didn't have, like, an ombre thing going on. I was like, well, I want to color it again. So, I did it again. I mean, that grew out. And it, it, it eventually, like, you know, got longer. And I'm like, okay, well, it's cool. So, then that's when the I started. Okay, that's yeah. when I started. So, let's fast forward back to that part. Um, So, then I started wearing full wigs and stuff. And I just started to notice that, you know, as I would take it out to wash it and stuff, like, I'm like, oh, it's it's growing like everything is starting to kind of like balance out finally mm -hmm. so i mean that's when i got more so into the protective styling and now it's kind of like almost like an obsession mm -hmm. you know that <laughs> mm -hmm. i really just braid my hair now everybody's like well how you get your hair to me so i'm like you know, I, I don't i don't really wear it you know i literally braid it now um it's like you know when i first do my fresh braid now and i'll do some like jamaican black castor oil or mm -hmm. something at first, and then as them braids get older, she don't. Do I don't be doing her. nothing. You <laughs> know, all. I really don't. I can't even be like, oh, I be doing this. I mean, but I mean, I probably don't even wash it as like I was telling y'all. I don't mm -hmm. even wash it as frequently as I could. So I mean, honestly, I'm one of the people that could do better. But I can't really say I ever had like a struggle, struggle mm -hmm. with my hair. Like I don't have that story. But I will say that I feel like it's the best and the healthiest it has ever been ever when I just kind of like let it be, yeah. you know, so I'm not putting excessive heat. Like I said, I'm not doing them crunchy spritz and up doing all the little fish fins and not ball stuff like I used to do. And I'm noticing that it's just kind of starting to really flourish. Mm -hmm. And I mean, uh, I, I just have fun with wigs because I like the whole, like I have Twitter. commitment yeah. issues when it comes to hell. Like I don't like, I mean, in the morning, I might be short, and mm -hmm. depending on where we finna go, right. or what I'm finna do, it's just <laughs> like, oh, oh, I'm like, right, you know, so it's just like, for me, it's like a way to express myself, so for me, I really, really, really love my wigs, I like to play with colors, so. yeah, that's true, so I like to play with colors, I like to play with different styles and stuff, so I don't really wear my hair as often as I could, you know, and when I do wear it, it's basically like this, so it's in a pony cell or something like that, and I did this for you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, I mean, me personally, I don't really wear it like that. And I feel as though, like, you know, that's why I feel like it's it's where it's it coming, is. Yeah. Yes. I mean, and that's pretty much, that's I, pretty much I, it I for me. Yeah. I, yeah. That's just yeah. So, story. guys, if you don't know, Taylor was on an episode of The Journey. 
that's another oh, series I, I have oh, on yeah, my yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah. And we're best friends. Um, I feel like we're so much alike. Yes. It's just kind of crazy. Yes. Like, yes. we used to dress alike. Yes. <laughs> like, we're kind of twins yes. from, like, another mom and daddy. Yes. But, um, yeah, so my hair, y'all already know all my stuff. Y'all know my business. This is my channel. <laughs> so, right. if you're interested in knowing anything about me, then go ahead and scroll through my channel. Um, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching. But before we go, we're going to put you up on game. I'm going to have the girls tell you. Hey, what's up, guys? If you're watching Sister's Diary, then you may have a chance to win some of these awesome prizes. We have a egg brush from the Evers Hairs Forever. We have Beauty from the Roots hair products. We have Meet Beauty by Suzy. And we have Lil Cosmetics, guys. These are amazing products. We have a hair product. An edge product we have lashes this is makeup it's just so beautiful and these are lip scrubs and lip glosses so guys you're in for a treat yeah. all the rules are down below so make sure you follow those to be entered to win these amazing gifts